Hey, what's going on, gang? Good afternoon. Hi there. Greetings. Welcome, welcome to the program. How are you? My name's Alan Cox. Thank you very much for being here. If you are, if you're not, well, better luck next time. Please say hi to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. A cold one with the boys. There's Mary Santora. Hello. Welcome back. We're all born out for the weekend, aren't we? so tired, dude. Yeah. (laughs) And Pound Cake is back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. How was your weekend, Cody? Busy? We were all busy this weekend. Um, it was busy with pleasure, yeah. Ew. He just makes it sound so great. It's like a cigarette commercial. I mean, I was also Alive. busy with pleasure, but it was going to baseball games and doing stand-up comedy. Yeah, oh, was. not with Pound Cake? Yeah. You weren't enjoying not. pleasure with him? No. Hmm. None. All right. Never well, have. What's the old the cigarette ad? Alive with pleasure. And they always look so happy. They're just having a good time. I don't know if it was Parliament or what it was, but boy, they were having fun. You could have easily mistaken those cigarette ads for tampon ads they were having so much fun what was your did you have another date uh, i just met up with some friends for there was a cav scrimmage i guess a cav scrimmage okay yeah i have a friend that works over at uh for the Cavs, and she was like you want to go to the scrimmage and i was like what's the scrimmage um and it was over at the wolstein center so we did that and then we went to brunch afterwards mm. that was saturday uh, i wonder how often the other people will Combine a scrimmage and a brunch. Probably a lot. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I didn't even know they do that. I thought like once you reach like, you know, the major leagues <laughs> or the, or, I'm sorry, what, what is it? Professional it? NBA. Professional. Yeah. Once you reach like the professional the level, yeah. I didn't know you still had scrimmages, but it was cool. And then like everyone was like sitting towards the floor and hounding people for autographs once they like left the left the court. So I don't want to yeah. leave. I, by the way, Poundcake, I don't want to leave you hanging out there all by yourself. I had no idea they did that either. Yeah, they do know. that. No clue Cavs did scrimmage games. Just at the beginning of each year, this, the Browns do a similar thing where they'll do the orange and brown game where they're playing But isn't that just during and, spring training? Or isn't that during like, that's during training camp, right? Training camp, yeah. And then Cavs are in training Not camp during right the, now. Oh, they are still? Well, because it's still preseason games. Yeah, but they're playing games. They're playing preseason games. Right, but they're playing, they're like going to arenas to play games. Right, but yeah. yeah. So the scheduling of it, because this season's a little different, it's starting earlier than I think it's ever started before, and there's a lot more space between games. So usually they do that before they play their pr- first preseason game, but their first preseason game was incredibly early this year. I was going to say, I don't remember Cavs games starting this early. Yeah. but Because uh, so usually when we would do just the tip, it'd be like Halloween. Yes. That's the earliest, and that was when the Cavs were the featured team playing the first game. Right. Now their first game is like a week and a half, and it's uh, – what day is it? it? But you had a good time, Cody? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. It, it was, Dare I say it? I had a good time watching sports ball. Sports ball. Hey. Yeah. Dare I say it, he mm-hmm. says. The only one I recognize, the only one I knew just by looking at them, not having to look at the jersey or look up or anything like that, or look them up, uh, I, the only one I recognized was Chetty. Everyone else, I'm like. Not are, Kevin Love? You didn't uh, recognize Kevin Love wasn't there. Oh, oh he, yeah. I, Their I first regular season game's in Toronto. I think okay. it's only select, select players that does the scrimmages. They um, play the Raptors on October the 19th. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next week. I looked up. I was like, th- there was like some people there that d- aren't normally there, and so, th- so people were like spying on the players on- with their phone. Like they were taking their camera and then like zooming in real close <laughs> just to see. I'm like, Speaking are you try- spying? On players. They were. They were like, are you waiting to see if they picked their nose or something? I don't understand that. No, they're just never that close to the players, yeah, so they we want to like get video. Close. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of spying on the players, there was a game in London yesterday between the Packers and the Giants. And someone on the sideline filmed a guy on the Giants from from like you see him from behind, half his butts out of his pants, and the trainer's rubbing his leg, but it looks like he's pleasing, him. giving him a hander yeah, from the front. Like oh, I did hand. see that. Yeah. I saw that. And like all <laughs> was, the memes like- were. Deshaun Watson immediately requests trade to Giants, <laughs> things like that. Because right. it was it was filmed from the back, right? Yeah. So- <laughs> What else could they possibly do, be doing other than a mid-game handy mm-hmm. on the sidelines? 
Listen, these guys are worth millions of dollars. You want to keep them uh, happy. Yeah. Boy, my mic. Somebody mess with my mic. It's uh, my yeah. balls are rumbling from the compression in this mic. Holy cow! I you say it stinks again. No, <laughs> like, it sounds there? like you know. I came when I do the cocks out down at the Ivy. I come in here obviously to park, and then I'll walk down, and I stuck my head in here, and it's full of TAM people because yeah. they're probably doing Guardian stuff or whatever. Uh, I think they do a pregame tailgate party hour. Man, Ooh. I don't know what Bloom they did Daddy to this microphone. And such. Yeah. Whatever. But I'm like, holy Christ, right now. It makes me sound like Barry White. Oof. Maybe it's the pads on my, does it sound different to you or no? Maybe it's the pads on my headphones. I, pads I, I don't think headphones. it sounds different. Really? Okay, well, maybe it's the things on my headphones then. Did you get new pads on your headphones? Yeah, I replaced, because I, okay. for some reason, I shred them. That should not affect the sound, though. It's just. It uh, might sound different to you. Yeah, Mine maybe. sounds to, different, I feel like. To me, every day. Okay. I feel like every time I get on this microphone, it's like, a, sometimes it sounds kind of robot-y, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, because I don't know, I don't know what people are place. doing to these boards in, yeah. in between and everybody's whatever. And they said, mm-hmm. when you come in here, you'll log in and it'll go to your <laughs> settings. Well, not settings, station. Station. Yeah, not well, settings. Well, that's what they meant. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, it, but they kept saying settings. Yeah. You can have it set however um, you want. I saw Gab Cruz on TikTok call, and I don't know if she made it up, but she referred to the Guardians as the Guardiac Kids, and I thought that was funny. That's, That's very awesome. good. Yeah. Um, because they were that. Oh my goodness, I was at that game on Saturday. I had to leave because I was doing a four o'clock matinee show at Hilarities, and I figured this game will be over at the latest three thirty. And it went for a whole nother game almost. I always think about the vendors who stop serving at the seventh inning. Oh, yeah. And they're probably screaming and cursing when you go 15 innings. I had no idea it was when 15 innings. We were meeting some friends who were out of town. We were going to a show Saturday night. And so we went, uh, met them in Tremont for some drinks around 6 o'clock because the shows were at 8. They were going to one show, we were going to another, and then we were going to meet up again after. And um, it was packed. And I was like, 6 o'clock? And then our friend who bartends her, she's like, oh, that was a 15-inning game. I'm like, holy yeah. Christ. Yeah, but it was. they pulled it out. It didn't end until the show that I was on, which was a two-man show, 90-minute show. There was 10 minutes left in the comedy show when that game finally ended. I would have liked a to swing and a high fly. Deep left center field. It is gone. Hello, New York. Oscar Gonzalez sends the Guardians to the division series. A mob scene at home plate. A towering solo homer to left center to end this marathon incredible playoff game. Holy cow, that Tom Hamilton. I wonder if he went home and uh, drank some hot tea with lemon and honey in it. <laughs> Screaming. After that. By the way, I know it's Columbus Day and the Italians get very, very sensitive. So I apologize on his behalf for the phrase mob scene. Mm. They're at home plate. But they pull it off and uh, now they get to play the New York Yankees uh, tomorrow night here on WMMS. Be a lot of fun. It'll be a free. Uh, <laughs> they fared pretty well against the Yankees earlier in the season, yeah, so it's not we'll necessarily see. a death sentence for the Guardians. Uh, nothing seems to phase these kids. They're yeah. young and they're hungry. Youngest team in and baseball. They just want to get out there and play. Talking about the marathon of it, Gab, who you just mentioned, she gets she can't eat during all that because she's doing so many things. She's young and hungry too. Yeah. So like by the end of the game, she's exhausted and she hasn't had any food. And I always feel real bad when I know it's an extra inning game, because every once in a while I'll be in a suite and I'll be like, come on up, I'll sneak you a hot dog. Sure. but yeah, it's- She can't have like a cliff Bar in her pants or anything? I don't know. Hmm. They like to keep her skinny. Something to consider. <laughs> you know, you get fat off those cliff Bars. Mm-hmm. Let me take a break here. If you want to text for anything, 35192, alancockshow.com is where you'd watch us on the live stream there. And we will be back after these. It's the Alan Cox Show.